Imagine a predator so colossal, its paw print could swallow your head whole. A beast that stalked the ancient plains, a titan of tooth and claw whose roar could shake the very bones of the earth. We're not talking about some mythical monster. We're talking about the American lion. This wasn't your average house cat. This was a predator that made today's lions look like kittens. Twice the size, with fangs long enough to pierce through bone, the American lion was the undisputed king of its domain. During the Pleistocene period, between 1.8 million and 11,000 years ago, this great cat lived in North America and the northwest of South America. It died out along with mammoths and other Pleistocene megafauna that were very big. Genetic tests have shown that it came from the same family as the European lion. People think that the American lion was a species that only lived in North America and got to the southern continent through a land bridge that linked the two Americas. There was a species of lion that existed in North America during the Pleistocene epoch, but it is no longer living. This species is known as the American lion. Approximately half a million years ago, it is believed to have descended from a progenitor that resembled a lion. About 200,000 years ago, it made its first appearance in North America. The tiger, the leopard, the jaguar, and the American lion belong to the four different species of lions that may be found in the globe. In 1853, the first person to write about the American lion was a scientist named Joseph Lady. His research was based on fossils discovered in the state of Texas. Since that time, many remains of the American lion have been discovered in various locations around North America, including Canada, Alaska, Mexico, and other countries. There was a time when the American lion was one of the largest cats that had lived. Compared to current African lions, males might have weighed up to 350 kilograms, which is about 25% higher than them. It possessed a distinctive mane, which it most likely utilized to frighten away rivals and lure potential mates via attraction. It is likely that its fur was golden in hue, similar to the color of lion puppies. The jaws and teeth of the American lion were made of highly hard material, and the animal was large and powerful. Considering that its head was more powerful than that of a contemporary lion, it is clear that it was capable of hunting large creatures, such as mammoths, camels, and bison. In addition to this, its teeth were far larger and more powerful than those of a contemporary lion. It would have been easier for it to fend against large, powerful food. It was possible for the claws of the American lion to retract, and its legs were large and powerful. With these legs, it would have been able to grasp and hold big pieces of food. It was also equipped with a robust and lengthy tail, which would have assisted it in maintaining its equilibrium and moving fast when hunting. The American lion was distinguished not only by its appearance, but also by the unique abilities it had in terms of hunting. The lion of the United States was a powerful beast. The jaws and fangs of this creature were very powerful, and its body was large and muscular. It possessed a distinctive mane, which it most likely utilized to frighten away rivals and lure potential mates via attraction. It is likely that its fur was golden in hue, similar to the color of lion puppies. It is also known that the American lion hunted in groups, which would have been an effective method for capturing large animals, such as bison and mammoths among other species. It is highly probable that American lions, along with other large animals, were responsible for the deaths of deer, equida, and canelids such as the so-called Californian tappers, bison, and mammoths. For example, the short-faced bear, the dire wolf, and the American lion are all examples of animals that have become extinct. This occurred as a result of the melting of the previous glacier and an increase in the number of people hunting for food that cats might consume. If you enjoyed this video and want to continue learning about the wonders of the natural world, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts and any questions you may have.